I think the main allure of book one for us is obviously it's the elite sale in Europe. Um, there isn't a sale that sells as many horses at that quality for the prices that they reach. And we have to, as commercial breeders, target those sales with the stock that we're producing here. We're also very lucky to have a wonderful group of clients that share the same aspirations and they want to use the top stallions. They want to breed to produce classic winners or high class horses to the best of their ability. And book one is really the plethora of, of horse sales, uh, yearling sales in, in Europe. And it's, a, it's been a great location for us to sell. It works very well, obviously, we're a UK based stud farm. So, you know, logistics wise, it's always been very easy for us to target, but also, you know, the job that Tassels do with bringing the international uh, buyers in, uh, as well as promoting the sale as well as they do, it's been such a fantastic place for us to breed and, and then sell our stock. Having reared horses here that, that have sold like Camelot, you really get to know them and then when you bring them to the sales, you watch them develop and change through their rearing process and then you go into the prep process and you, you get a sense of, of how they are and how they're handling that change in character as it were because they go from a, a school ground rearing environment of being able to do what they want to do suddenly into more of a workplace and watching them change and develop and horses like Camelot and Palace Pier that went through that process and handled it as well as they did. You always get a nice feeling that when you bring them to the sales they're going to cope with that well and I think that's a huge part of why they've gone on to be such wonderful horses in training and become group one winners. Truthfully, when you're breeding horses, it's the horses that are complicated that you remember because they come up on a list or they have an issue that you need to consider. And sometimes the horses like Palace Pier that were uncomplicated, they seem to sail through life. You know, they pass all their grades uh, without any complications. They don't ever get a bad report and therefore the headmaster doesn't tend to spend as much time with them. But um, no, he was a wonderful horse to, to prep. Uh, he was a very easy horse, uh, he had a great fluidity of movement, he was a lovely horse to watch on the lunge. Always that first time you get them in the lunge ring is a, is a telling sign of how they're going to behave and he did that with great presence and poise and when he reached the sale he took it in his stride and you know he was just a lovely horse to be around. So here at Highclere we'd normally prepare anything up to 60 yearlings per season. Um, we separate them into two yards, with one with the Colts, one for the Phillies. The day starts at six in the morning, and then they usually start their exercise about seven, which involves a lot of hand walking. Their exercise has to be tailored. Some will need a lot more than others. Some will need very little. Some will just hand walk through their whole prep. Others will use the horse walker. Some will get lunged. Each horse is so individual. We've got a fantastic draft in book one this year. It's a really lovely bunch of horses. Obviously the pedigrees speak for themselves. The physicals, they're book one animals through and through. So they're a very exciting bunch. We've probably got slightly more fillies than colts uh, than in a, in a usual year, but lovely pedigrees and a lovely depth of stallions, uh, which is very exciting to see. And we've got some really important physical colts as well. And I think the culmination of the physicals the firepower of the Stallions, which is a very broad group, but we've got a Dubawi, a Frankel, Wooden Bassets, we have Kingmans in there, we've got New Bays, uh, etc. But we've also got some lovely first season sires, a lovely Gayarth. Um, we've got a very nice Blue Point filly who's very strong and very racy, but a lovely collection altogether. It's hard to single them out because if they've made it to book one, they tend to be an elite thoroughbred and have a wonderful family and a wonderful pedigree. I think the collection that we have, that the clients have sent us, uh, is one of the, the most special I've seen in some time and we're really excited about bringing them up to the sale. <laughs>